everyone this is Alex USA Days and I have a cool update for you. So now we have MCP servers under extensions in Visual Studio Code. So if you saw my previous video on Playwright MCP server and AI uh, automation with Copilot, I had to go through the process where you go manually find the MCP server at GitHub, grab a command from their doc, then run the command, then try to find where it was installed, start the server manually. So that was a whole process that wasn't very well, uh, but it wasn't really user friendly. So, and if you have like multiple users on your uh, machine, God knows where it goes and it might get lost. So wasn't wasn't really the best experience. Now this is kind of building, now this, I think Microsoft is bringing everything like under one package with VS Code. So there's MCP servers tab now. You can extend agent mode by installing MCP servers. So let's do just that. I'm clicking install it and it gives me a pop-up and it asks me what kind of uh, MCP server you would like to install. And I have different extensions here, MCP server. So I am looking specifically for the Playwright. Here it is, install Playwright, open it up, install, and looks like it is installed. So MCP server is here, auto contest protocol server that provides browser automation capability using Playwright, enables LLM to interact with web pages, okay, good. Fast and lightweight, LLM friendly, deterministic tool application, no JS or 18, 18 or newer is required, any other MCP client. So we have Copilot, getting started first, install Playwright MCP server with your client. Okay, so I think it already done all that some configuration description here so all i want to do here is click on the options for the playwright and get it started so start server state is running package was not found they discovered 25 tools initialized i think all right let's give it a try so open up copilot what do we have let's go with chat gpt and let's make sure we have an agent under tools. What we have MCP server playwright is showing under tools. So it looks like we're good. I click on the config to open it up. All right, I think we're good. Hey, so let's ask, hey, is MCP server, MCP server for playwright running? Let's see if it's self-aware. Now I have one of the repos. I have some test examples here. Nothing really specific. That was essentially an empty repository with just a fresh new. There's currently no active MCP server, so it doesn't know if it runs. Okay, let me do this. Maybe maybe we start with actually going. Can you go? Can you use uh, MCP server? This playwright, playwright, and create a login success and fail test cases for Heroku app.com login page. Let's see what happens now. So it's actually creating them. I wonder why I didn't see if the MCP server, I don't know if we actually see it under the tools. Login success and failure test cases they were added into example file i'm going to delete test cases here that i had the default ones all right let's see what happens by label username by label password tom smith yeah keep let's keep it tom smith super secret password login click to be visible and then your username is invalid to be visible if it's invalid login Okay, so I would like to uh, run it and let's run it in actual view. OMPX, playwright, test, dash, dash, UI. And I want to see if it actually created. I'm also going to ask it one more time why it said it can't see MCP server, in, but it looks like it actually did um, use it. Before hook. 
uh, it ran fine. It got the username and password fields, provided the login information, clicked login, went to the secure area and verified that uh, it is there, the message. Now let's try the failure case. Try invalid username, valid password, try to log in and confirm that your username is invalid message is also displayed. So I think this is pretty cool. So easy installation. Now I just want to clarify. Did you actually really use MCP and created test cases? Go into, hold on, go into, let's say to the web page. No, the test case I created an example spec playwright directly. They do not use MCP server or its API. They automate. So I would like you to to use MCP Playwright. Playwright to explore explore the web page. Your tool set is showing is showing that it is enabled. Okay. Yes. So now it's actually using MCP. So before I think it used common knowledge that it had acquired the training data before that was online for this particular web page. I think it kind of created it because there are examples of it online, so it knew it, what it was doing. Now it's actually running uh, an input. So run navigate to URL with Playwright MCP server, and it's asking if it's okay for me to do that. So you see there's a confirmation message because if you go online using MCP server and it's a malicious web page or there's some fields that might request like for personal information there could be issues with the security so it is asking that uh, if you'd like to proceed yes i want to do that so now it navigated to the page login page i have used mcp playwright toolset to navigate to the page and explore the login page so see the page dom and expand current test cases with some elements assertions on the page. Let's see what happens now. All right, it's even done a snapshot. So you can see the actual commands being executed and you can expand it. Oh, wow, look at that. So grab the heading, the page. Plugin success and failure test cases have been expanded with additional assertions for page elements, including heading, labels, login button, the footer link, text ensure. Okay, so now you use MCP, correct? Well, okay, so it doesn't want to acknowledge. Well, code is playwright, but you explored, explored the page with MCP. I saw the commands and you issued, issued for the tools. It, it's like, no, I didn't use it. I don't want to acknowledge that I use MCP. <laughs> okay, so finally, he, he is acknowledging. That is correct. The test code in your file is written using Playwright, but I explored and analyzed the web page using the MCP Playwright tool set. MCP was used to navigate to the page and capture its DOM. And accessibility structure, which helped to inform element assertions, I added to your tests. If you want to, gen no, I'm all set. Let me just keep the code you created here, and let's give it another run. So we'll do another set of assertions. There's a lot of things that now we're looking at in the test cases. So let's grab our login success. Hopefully, it did not hallucinate anything here, and it's all okay. Looks like we're good. So we went to the web page, we asserted login page, adding fields are visible for the username and password, expand this. Then we grabbed the button, button is visible. We grabbed powered by at the bottom. I don't know why we grabbed by text, but that's okay. And then have attribute element selenium link. So the link is there. Put in first name, username, put in password, click the login button, and then asserted uh, the message. Perfect. Now let's do the login failure. Also, it, it added a bunch of assertions. So same assertions, header, username field, password field, login, 
attribute link, locator fill in, invalid, invalid. Okay. It did not assert this text. It did not assert for GitHub. Let's ask it, can you find any other text to assert on the page or any other links? Use MCP to analyze the page. Analyze the page and then insert uh, assertions as standalone test cases, not repeating parent assertions. So I want them to be more explicit. All right, so another go. Again, running a page snapshot with Playwright MCP server. I think we're really getting somewhere now. I think it is pretty cool. And it actually grabbed that element, elements that I pointed out that wasn't asserted first. So one assertion, the presence of a login page instruction text. So it found it. I hope it didn't hear me talking about it. And the, one, and the other one is fork me GitHub. Okay, let's take a look at them. So here is our login page instruction text is visible. So run. Yep, it just took the whole text and asserted it. And then the link and the link is, is there. So I think, I think that, that is really cool. So now we have an easy way to install MCP server right here. MCP server is installed. You go to VS Code, go to extensions, go to the section drop down MCP servers, choose Playwright, install it. You then start it. We're going to stop it now. And then you go and talk with your agent here. So use Copilot or whatever you want. Uh, and whatever, whatever LLM you like whatever model you want to choose and try I was running an MCP server play right try some automations going on this is very impressive okay hit like subscribe if you liked the video this was Alex USA days thank you for watching and bye bye